I hope you all are good. So today we are going to start a new subject that is network theory. In this subject, we are going to study about how we can analyze the circuit using some different laws and different methods. So let's start this subject. So before that, I observed that 17.8 percent of the people who are watching my videos are not subscribing to my channel. So I request you to please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for future notifications and also like this video and now i will tell you about the book uh, from where i will be referring so the name of the book is circuits and networks analysis and synthesis i have the fourth edition book by a sudhakar i will also be referring you some other books from where i will be taking some uh, important points important formulas from there i will tell you in the future so now let's start our first lecture on this subject by use uh, by a uh, i will tell you some terminologies of this chapter now the first topic is in uh, for today's lecture is charge so now what is charge so before that we already know that the basic building blocks of all metals are atoms they comprise of electrons protons and neutrons and we also know that all electrons are negatively charged protons are positive charged and neutrons do not contain any charge so because of that atoms are electrically neutral why because they are equal number of protons and equal number of neutrons they are both are equal and with this we know the unit of charge is coulomb and this is its value we can calculate in our uh, coming in numericals we will see we will be using this value of uh, the charge when we are will be using in that formula so it's a, it is minus 1.60212 10 to the minus 19 coulomb this is the uh, value of one charge one coulomb so this coulomb was a scientist a physicist you got a scientist who discovered the value of the charge now let us talk about another circuit terminology which is voltage so as we know the structure atom there exist two charges which is a positive charge and second one is a negative charge so to hold these charges there exist a force which is the force of attraction so on all these opposite charges they possess a certain amount of potential energy which because of the separation between them so this potential energy but uh, there's a difference between them from one point to another this difference is called a potential difference uh, as you can see i have written this now this potential difference in electrical terminology we we know this terminology as a voltage which can be denoted by either capital v or small v and also we can mathematically represent this voltage by w by q now this w means here is a work done or energy and q here is represents a charge if we can say we have to define for small di small distance we can use this small v which is equal to a d d a w by dq which is small energy by small charge so this was the formula for voltage now let us do one small example one small question based on this topic so the question for this topic is this one if the 70 joule of energy is available for every 30 coulombs of charge what is the voltage so we have to calculate the voltage here so we have two things here and we have to find the third one what are two things here one is uh, this energy 70 joule and one is the value of charge 30 coulombs so I have already told you the formula for this. It's capital B equal to W by Q. So we know the value of these two. W equal to energy of work done, which is 70, and charge is 30 coulomb. 30. We can write it here. So we, after solving this, we get 2.33 volt. This will be the value of voltage we will get this much voltage so let's move on to the next topic 
Now let's talk about another circuit terminology that what is that is current. So in most of the purposes we use current for various purposes like operating on our domestic appliances to charge our electronic equipments. So now the question here arises here that is what is a current? What's the definition of this current? So in the semiconductive or protective material, there are some free electrons which move at the random direction at a random speed without any external pressure or voltage applying to it. So to um, constitute some current in that material, when the voltage is applied of a certain polarity, the electrons move in that direction either from positive to negative or negative to positive which is based on how we are applying the voltage to it. So the movement of these electrons constitute current which is denoted by either capital I or small i. So from here we can define the current as the rate of flow of electrons in conductive or semiconductive material. We can also define it mathematically as i equal to q by t or small i equal to dq by dt. Here dq by dt represents dq is a small change in charge and dt represents small change in time. And this current is measured in ampere. And this ampere came from the French mathematician physicist Andre Marie Ampere. So by this we can say that 1 ampere is equal to 1 coulomb per second. So for this we will take a one question based on this topic. So now time for the question. So we have a question here. 5 coulomb of charge flow past a given point of wire in 2 seconds. Determine its current. So it's a very simple question. Two things we have given and we have to find the third one. So what we have given, we have given 5 coulomb of charge and we have given time 2 seconds. We have to simply find the current. So we know the formula of the current capital I equal to Q by T. We know the value of charge, it's 5 coulomb and we know the time is 2 seconds. So by dividing it, we will get current that is 2.5 ampere. So this was a very simple question, a very basic question. So I hope you understood on today's topic. We will continue this topic in our next session. Uh, till then, stay home, stay, stay safe and wear a mask when you go out. Thank you. Thank you very much.